Today's new tip of the day demonstrates how to create parking lots. This question comes up very frequently on the forums and Facebook groups as newer players see posts from veterans who include parking lots in their builds. So I thought I'd fill you in on the ins and outs of making parking lots on console and vanilla PC. I'd like to add a small parking lot in front of the mall moderation unique building here, so let's use this as our example. Step 1. Paint a district. Then go to commercial specialization and select organic and local produce. Now this requires a Green Cities DLC. If you don't have that, there is another way, which we'll discuss in a few minutes. Once that's painted and set, determine the design of your parking lot and the zoning orientation. For this parking lot, I want to face up and down as shown on the screen, and a good way to force the game to do that is to make the left and right rows highway, since you can't zone on highway or leave a zoning tile worth of space. Just be mindful when changing the road to highway that anything currently zoned along that road will disappear. This is key to understand, so it's often a great strategy to zone your parking first, then any growables adjacent to it. And for the parking lots, there's a set of 2x2, two 2x3, two, two and 2x4 two styles, as well as a set of 3x2, three 3x3, three three, and 3x4, three with the threes having a covered section of the parking. We're going to zone in a checkered pattern because the density doesn't matter for local and organic produce. This forces the game to zone the specific dimensions we're after, and thus increasing the chances of us getting the parking lots. Once zoned in, it's time to play Wagonball. You're looking for the Edison Hypercharger. Once you see it, select it, make it historical so you can use the demolished building setting on the bulldozer to destroy any buildings not historical, which also doesn't destroy roads and other stuff in the vicinity. Organic and local produce only come in as level one, so you don't have to worry about the Edison Hypercharger leveling up to another building. So you can leave the area and work on other things while they grow in, then come back periodically to play whack-a-mole so you're not twiddling your thumbs like I am here. Here's a 3x4 free charge EV charging building with the covered section I was talking about earlier. Fast forward a bit and we're all done. Don't forget to change the roads back if you made them highway, as well as make a water retention area for the water runoff from the parking lot. Now that that's done, let's take a quick look at some other examples. Here are a bunch of parking for a pedestrian area in the metro station. Over here, some parking around the high school. All the way at the boundary of the city, a park and ride with inner city bus station, metro train hub, and ample parking. Now I mentioned earlier, if you don't have green cities, you can use the carports from the mid-century modern content creator pack. Now these act as leisure items with attractiveness and are functional, whereas the organic and local produce is commercial, so a bit different in their game mechanics. They're found in the leisure section under content creator packs. Here's a quick example of using those next to a hotel from the same pack. I hope that helps you add parking lots to your city and elevate its realism aesthetics. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and see you in the next video. Until then, happy building.